11th of August 2018 within the Bitcoin chart and that of the 30 minute term time frame the uh, price action had this uh, interesting rally which uh, managed to get above the previous resistance range that it was uh, previously enduring from the move it corrected a bit through time had one small leg higher which of course has now been in, at the top uh, at least a significant one it, it came back down to where it came from in here and that, that's all fine and dandy but when it comes up here okay we're bouncing from where the price should be doing such it didn't lift off any time when it was showing strength amongst the uh, 18 which uh, would be right in here it didn't lift off at that point it then had a little bit of a selling move so from point here the low here and the high here it still only gave back that of a 61.8 percent correction but it showed a lot of weakness within the 18 before it ended up having the two red candle move down that broke down below these levels of support Therefore, that last little bit of a rally attempt, man, it really, really wasn't much of uh, one. And the price has digested the gains for several periods since the fall yesterday afternoon. At around uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, it is a little after 8 a.m. now. So it has been more than one half of a day. There's been uh, a lot of resistance amongst the uh well, we got area of about 61.79 and then a lower area at around 61.35 and support these uh there's an area at 6057 the actual low that took place in here i got uh i'm trying to find the number for where it gets on the top of course 59.999 so basically 6000 with all it pierced nicely below then there was this period here, which came down to 6,000. So two levels of support on the short term time frame. I get yeah, around 60, 68, and then the 6,000 even handle. And of course, we take a look at this on a more longer term time frame, say like the daily term. The green candle up move did such after three decent red days down, well below the 18. This has been a a monstrous move to the downside that has not corrected efficiently because support was not found at the key area of where a higher low should have been met which is around 6800 or that of the neckline to where the inverted head and shoulders happens to be and whenever you get the pattern of a red down move like this a good green move and it gives it all back and in this case a little more sum within the next period that is uh, well you can whatever name you want to give it instant rejection whatever it is not a strong sign it is definitely continuation down signals that is bringing this into place and we're at that major level that thus far has had a hundred percent success rate in that of support uh, anything around 6,000 it's at 61 it spent very little time there on the February 6 lows it never got to that point on the April area it came close never did we're now back at an area that it tested June 12th uh, down again until June 27th it got below it to like the 5800 but it really never went too much below it it succeeded basically and then again before this thing started uh, to go higher it bottomed from 6072 on the july 12th so all of those have been successful hits the more often you test an area of a key level support in this case the more likely it is that you take it out and it's been a consistent battle of 6000 continuously holding for over a half a year without ever making a higher high along the way. There has now been one, I uh, don't know why my drawing tool didn't come up, but uh, okay, there's been one, two, three, and now four 
lower highs as we're having yet another matching low. That's basically the descending triangle kind of formation. Yeah, this could be another bottom set and it could, it could be that play, but the chart uh, is not to, is to me not showing such. I was expecting that this was gonna be a bull market run that we would have had that uh, successful correctionary test as I've talked about the stages of reversal, band flattening out, establish resistance, come back to the band, which it did, but that's where, to me as a teacher, I'd be looking, okay, you failed test number three in the comeback stage, as when you came back, you didn't find support where you were supposed to, as you were supposed to do so somewhere from the 18 highs to the 18 lows. And you can pierce a bit below, but I'm not looking at pierce move now because it is just continuously noticeably going lower. I see this 18 on the three day barely starting to decline now and it's doing so at an area. And just forgetting the fact for a quick period of time that this is a major level at 6,000, just forgetting that point, it's telling you, okay, it's probably gonna have a, a good leg lower or a leg lower. And to determine the size of a leg, you can say, okay, if it, you're looking at like uh, this term time frame, it's always gotta be, this amount or whatever because the daily would be saying the sort of same thing that it's gonna have a, a leg lower than six but because it's a big level it is by no means a surprise if it does break down to get some large size moves aka something looking like this and of course my set target would be that of 3000 if that event happens which to me looks like there's a pretty decent chance that it will most certainly not a surprise or a higher probability chance for it to happen. Um, whether it happens this weekend, if it's a weekend, I don't know, but end of the week, next few uh, six, seven, eight, nine days is more likely now because of the uh, what I'm seeing on the chart. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. And like always, everything's your own risk, own reward within the trades. Bye-bye.